Hello everybody and welcome to the Constable. Please subscribe now to get the latest news on archaeology, ancient history, civilizations and world mythology. Antarctica was once covered with tropical forests. Now, researchers have fully charted the slow transition from tropical paradise to icy wasteland thanks to a single marine sediment core. The core shows for the first time the temperate forest were a key transition before falling temperatures turned the continent into a white wasteland. The core was taken from the seafloor of Welkes Land in East Antarctica as part of the Integrated Ocean Drilling Program. Pauline Green's found inside shows how vegetation on the continent changed between the early Eocene around 54 million years ago and into the Miocene of 12 million years ago. The core from Wilkes Land is the first to give the entire story from the Eocene all the way through, says Altrich Salzman of Nottingborough University in Newcastle, who presented preliminary results at the European Geosciences Union meeting in Vienna. It seems that vegetation has disappeared completely by 12 million years ago. The Vanishing Monkey Puzzles the core story starts in much warmer climes, around 16 degrees centigrade in the Eocene between 53.8 and 47.9 million years ago. Back then, the climate was subtropical, the verdant landscape dominated by palms and trees and the monkey puzzle. By the early Oligocene, around 31 to 33 million years ago, the palms and monkey puzzles had disappeared. They gave way to more temperate species, including hewn pines, trees known as living fossils that still thrive in New Zealand and Tasmania today. But the Kapos conifers began to abound, as did Notophagos or southern beaches, which are also still common in New Zealand and Tasmania. For trees, the transition from the Oligocene to the Miocene 23 million years back was the beginning of the end. But the Kapos trees and southern beaches remained, but their territory was increasingly being invaded by mosses and other plants that are the hallmark of tundra. The temperatures dropped to around 6 degrees centigrade by this period. How the tundra took over Tundra starts to take over, says Sarsman. The vegetation moves down to the lowlands and the tundra becomes dominant. The landscape became very similar to that seen today in Tierra del Figo in Patagonia. But the end for all greenery came around 12.5 million years ago when even the tundra disappeared. Then the glaciers took over and turned Antarctica into a white desert. Wilkes Land must have been the last refuge of woody vegetation. It is a super exciting find and opens the door to this new look at Earth's history in the Antarctic. Obviously, this is particularly important in light of anthropogenic climate change, with Antarctica warming up quickly and its ice sheet becoming potentially unstable. Even though Sarsman's core is a great start, it is like trying to use a single core from Europe to see what the entire climate was like, from southern Spain up to Norway. To get a grip of what happened, more drill cores around Antarctica are indeed necessary. Thank you for watching.